Um, and so today I'm bringing you, I mean, probably the most super easy craft that I've, I've really ever done, but I love this. I love this craft and it's a great time right now. If you want to, uh, create something that I said was fun functional. <laughs> do you get it? Fun functional. I'm trying to say that right. So not only is it fun, it's functional. And this is something really fun that you could make for yourself. This is something that you could make for other crafters, teachers, anybody that has scissors. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how I love to make my scissor cozies. Okay. Scissor cozies. It's perfect. Super easy. Um, this, the retreat I'm talking about, it's called uh, the Creative Escape Art Event. Um, we usually do a destination event um, every so often. Last year we did a cruise. This year we're in the mountains. We're on land in the mountains. And so, yeah, if you're interested in that, make sure and follow my page because we're already we'll be looking at what the plans will be for the next year um, and letting people know that um, in the next few months. <laughs> okay. So yeah, it really is. It's a lot of fun. So I want to show you how to do my scissor co cozies. I'm going to call it a scissor cozy. Super easy. Okay. Super easy. And some of you may have even done this, made these before. Um, they're just so cute. And this, you guys, can be, is, it's something that I like to use pot holders for. Okay. So I like to use pot holders for this. So I'm going to show you some I just picked up. I just picked these up and I picked them up. Uh, these I picked up at Hobby Lobby because all of their spring items, their spring items are 66% off or something like that, something crazy like that, almost 70% off. So they're very inexpensive. Like this was $3.99. I think I paid a dollar right now. The other thing is you can find really cute pot holders at your dollar stores, Dollar Tree, um, Dollar General, Walmart, all those kind of places. And you might even have some, you know, a decorative one that you want to use in your in your kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> so I want to show you how. We're going to make these. And it, like I said, it's so, so super easy. It can be a round. It can be a round pot holder. Okay. It can be a round or a square. Rectangles don't work so much. So avoid rectangles, but stick with squares and circles. Squares and circles will work just fine. Okay. So I'm going to start with my favorite one. This is my favorite one. <laughs> I think this one is so cute. So, so cute. Yeah. If you know me, you know, I love daisies. I just think these are, this is so pretty. And like the other side, look at that cute ticking fabric on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the little tag here and you need hot glue. Okay. That's what you need. You need hot glue to make this. And like I said, this is a super fast, easy, functional craft today because my list of things is long to do today. <laughs> and I keep getting my hat on crooked here. <laughs> I love blue and yellow too. I love navy and yellow. Look how pretty. And these are actually like stitched. And that's for those of you that know me, I love to stitch, right? If you're my fabric fan club people, so cute. So this could be something, even those of you in the fabric fan club, if you wanted to add some of your own stitching to it and then make your cozy, you could. Okay. Isn't it cute? All right. So we're going to start with this one. The side you want to see on the outside of your cozy needs to be touching the table. Okay. Just touching the table. And I'm going to have this kind of set up like a diamond right here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you kind of the folds and then we'll work with gluing it together. And we're going to do a fun little accent on this. We're going to do a fun little accent on this too. So uh, this would be great for um, crafters. I have, I made one of these for my kitchen scissors. Um, they're great because you have the hanger here, so you can tie them onto your tool bag. You can hang them up in your craft room or in your kitchen. Um, so it's kind of nice that you, you have that right there. So I always leave that. So we're going to think like, which side of this do we want to see? I think I'm going to go this side down first. Now watch what I'm going to do here because we're going to have to hold this in place. 
I am not folding it. Oh, let me make sure I'm completely on our screen here. I'm not folding it right in half. Okay. I'm not folding it in half like this. I'm actually going to fold this just a little bit offset of the point, about a finger, right? See my little pinky finger right there or my pointer finger that's fatter. You can see that better. <laughs> so don't fold it right on the point. We're going to go about right there. Now we're going to take our glue gun, our hot glue works great for this. And the first, let's see if it's hot enough. The first place I'm going to put hot glue is going to be kind of right down this little seam, not all the way to the bottom, about right there, about to my, where my thumb is. Okay. And we're just going to load that up just in that one spot to start. Okay. Now then, this is kind of the tricky part because we have to hold this in place and we're going to fold this edge over. So right now, the only place it's being glued is kind of right here, right underneath here. And if that's a little too far over for you, it's okay. We're going to kind of reshape this here in just a minute. Okay, so I want you to see that. Do you see how it, it's glued in here? That's the first place you're going to put the glue. Okay, now then I'm going to reshape it a little bit. I'm going to pull this over. You watching? I'm going to pull this over a little bit, just like that. And do you see, it just gives me a better looking point down here. It just gives me a better looking point. And this should be somewhat in the middle. Okay, kind of somewhat in the middle. Now that I've reshaped that, we're going to do this a few times because I'm making some of these to give to um, people at the... Uh, art event. So now we're going to come in, right, and just kind of add our glue. I got a little blob over the edge here. Let me get rid of that. And then just come in and press that down. You're going to want to hold it for a minute. Okay, you're going to want to hold it for a minute. Um, Kimberly, yes, Beth, you're correct. It's seven and seven thirty for the live reveal. Seven for Fabric Fan Club and seven thirty for the Napkin Club. Okay, so just gotta kind of hold that in place. If we have to go back in and add a little bit more, we can. Also, if it's kind of bulky down here, sometimes I'll just put a clothespin down there just to hold it while it while the hot glue is drying. Okay, isn't that cute? <laughs> While this is drying, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do the strawberries. Let's do the strawberries. So let me cut off these tags. And again, I picked all of these up on clearance at Hobby Lobby, but you can check your dollar stores everywhere. Like potholders are pretty much everywhere, right? Okay. So we're going to do it again. And if you, it can go the other direction. I always just kind of like to look to see like, okay, that strawberry right there is going to show. Or if I go this way, I get a little strawberry coming down like this. Um, I think I'm going to go with this, this angle this time. Okay. So again, here's my point. Okay. Here's my point. Oh, it's such a cute gift idea. This would be something cute. Like I said, for kitchen scissors, if you're going to give, you know, a little kitchen gift basket or something, um, this would be cute for teachers, a little place for their scissors. They can can um, hang them up out of the way um, um, for crafters, for sure. And you can keep multiple scissors in one cozy. OK, which is kind of neat. All right. So finger on the, the point here. So we don't want to go all the way down to the point. And we're going to start with our hot glue. I need to get another glue stick here real quick. I can tell we're going to need that. Hang tight with me. Okay, so the first 
glue that we do is right along this kind of piping, this edge, this piping, just that little bit. And we're going to bring this edge over all the way. Do you see how right now it's it's kind of lined up along this edge? And then we're going to reshape it here in just a second. Make sure that glue catches. Give it just a minute. Yeah, scissor cozies. They're so fun to make. And just super easy. So maybe you're going on a retreat, a craft retreat or a scrapbooking retreat with friends. You could make one for everybody. Or you could just bring different pot holders and let everybody make their own. That would be fun. So again, I want you to see I'm not glued here yet, just in here. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to reshape my cozy. I'm going to pull this over a little bit. Kind of reshape this just a little bit. Sometimes you're going to wind up with a little, uh, with it looking kind of like this. Sometimes it will look like this. It Part of it depends on the thickness and um, just the way that the corner is made on the, the pot holder, but it's going to be just fine. Your scissors aren't going to, the point's not going to slide through there. <laughs> all right. So now we're going to bring in, and I don't put the glue all the way to the edge because when we put this down, it's going to, you know, smush out. So I don't want it to smush out on the rest of my pot holder. So I put it, you know, I make sure it has a little bit of room to spread out without oozing out onto the pot holder. So cute with the strawberries. Now you can sparkle these. You can add stickles to these if you want to dress them up. Um, we're going to do a little something to them to make them look really cute. This one's holding really well. But again, if it's, it's really bulky down here. So if you need to just um, hold that. And let me show you what this is going to look like. So your scissors just going to slide in. Isn't that cute? Your scissors just slide in there. <laughs> these could even be, if you got holiday pot holders, these could even be cute for treats, right? Like it, it could be a little treat holder of some kind. Uh, I could see candy canes and stuff hanging out of it. That could be really cute. Maybe you want to gift a crafter some decorative um, Christmas scissors or, you know, I don't know all the things, but you can see that they fit in here. And if you wanted to, you could even fit, depending on the um, pot holder, sometimes you can even fit more than one. Okay. Isn't that cute? We're going to make them cuter in just a minute. All right. Let's do a circle. Let's do a circle one. I'm, this one's going to be mine. Look how cute that is. Adorable. All right, let's do a circle. Circle's just a little bit different. The circle ones are better uh, sometimes for even like your smaller scissors. If you have smaller scissors or things, your little detail cutting scissors, things like that. So this one, again, let me cut this away. You can sit down and make a ton of these in one afternoon if you wanted to. So this one has sunflowers on the back. Some little daisies very very cute and when you do this you're going to kind of just imaginary line it right just kind of bring your finger down kind of imaginary line and this time we're going to go over a little bit more well here hang on let me get it let me get it right yeah we're going to go about like that so i'm gonna maybe this will help okay Imaginary line it. This little this little diamond right there, that's going to kind of be our center. I'm going to put my finger right there. And we're going to bring this over. Okay. This is where our glue is going to go. This is our first grab of glue. Hopefully y'all can see this okay. I know, Tiffany, they're so fun. It's so easy to do. And then we're going to bring this one over. Oh, I used way too much glue. Okay, let's get that off of there real quick. I forgot. Okay, let me get this off here real quick. I always forget. I usually get squares, so we don't need that much glue. 
Okay, good. Well, you, sometimes you're going to learn from me what not to do. <laughs> and th on the circle ones, you don't need as much glue. I'll be able to just heat that up with my heat gun and get rid of that excess glue. Okay, isn't it cute? Do you see how it's smaller? See, so like if you had smaller scissors, right? Cute for your smaller scissors. So if you can find little circle ones, they're great for smaller scissors. And then again, we're gonna come back in now inside the piping. So you got plenty of room for the glue to spread a little bit. Same thing with your clothespin. This is holding actually really well, but I still like to kind of just press that down in there. Isn't it cute? So now I've got one that I keep could keep my smaller scissors in. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'd much rather you learn from me. Yeah. Live crafting can be tough, man. Okay, let's leave this on here. So your little circle um, pot holders are so cute for smaller scissors. Really, really cute. Okay, really, really cute. All right. Um, I just have another, I'm not going to do this one, but I have another one I wanted to show you. There's lots of, of um, kind of kitchen inspired um, pot holders out there. So this would be adorable for a kitchen if you had lemons. Now this one, I wanted you to see, actually, I do need to do this one with you. Because this one, the little hanger thingy, is in the middle instead of at the top. So let's see how we work with that. I do need to do this one with you. That's why I put it in this pile. I just forgot. Sometimes pot holders will have their hanger instead of up here on a corner over here. So let me show you how this is going to look. I still want you to hold it like on as a diamond. You're still going to do it just like this as a diamond. Okay. And I'm going to fold it over just so that you can kind of see. But your hanger now is going to be on the corner. So you're going to do it just like the other ones. You just won't have a hanger up here at the top. It's going to be on the corner. So when your scissors hang, they're going to hang at an angle. Okay. They're just going to hang at an angle just like that. Cute with the lemons, right? So don't worry if your hang hanger is not on the corner. It's not going to matter. It's just your scissors are going to hang at an angle, which I think is cute anyway. Okay, that's the only difference. So you're still going to, you're still, if it's a square, you're still going to put it in the diamond shape when you make it. Okay, and then your this will be on the corner. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's embellish these. Let's have a little fun and embellish these. Um, I cut out some flowers. I went ahead and just chose white and yellow. I love our wool felt selection. If I'm creating any kind of flower or, you know, want to use flower as an embellishment, I love using our wool felt. I have some green here for leaves. I just pulled these colors because I thought they would look fine with this um, assortment here. So let's do, we'll do our small one first. Um, if you have a die cut, you can die cut the felt. Um, if you have a pattern, you can just, you know, a template, you can just trace it um, and cut them out. But it's kind of fun because, and this could also be, um, it could be uh, um, artificial flowers. It could be, um, you know, those of you that have a lot of flower embellishments, you could use that, anything you want. You can layer and double them up if you want to. They're going to look really cute. Okay, so I was thinking on this one, I think yellow would be really cute on this one. So if I wanted to double it up, I would just kind of um, layer it. Can you see that? Just kind of layer it where the points are going different directions there. Looks a little like a sunflower. You could actually on this one, you could do the, the ends pointy and then it would look more like a sunflower. I'm just going to use good old hot glue for this. And then I'm thinking a black button. 
What do you think? Do you like the black button on there? Actually, a blue could be pretty, but if I'm trying to mimic the sunflowers or a brown, let's just see what a white looks like. Oh, the white is sweet too. What do y'all like best? Black or white? That's all I pulled it out here. And then we can also do this to add in some of that blue. I'm going to do, I'm going to double this. This is just Baker's twine. I'm kind of leaning towards the white. I don't know why. Not that it matters. I'm just going to make a, um, I have doubled this twine. There's two pieces of twine here and I'm just going to make a bow. Obviously, you could decorate these however you want. I don't want this bow to be too big because I don't want it catching on things. Oh my gosh, that's cute. All right, I'm going to tie the tails together in a knot. I'm going to go white with this one. Okay, so let's put some hot glue on the back. I'm just going to stick it right there. A little more hot glue for my button. And a little dot of hot glue for the bow. So it's going to look like the bow is going through the button. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Look how cute that is. Let's look over here at it. Got some blue hairs. <laughs> Again, isn't that cute for your smaller scissors? It's just adorable, right? I think it's so cute. If you wanted to do a, a black button, I think a black button would look fine too. Actually, let's do this. Look, you could even um, stack another button on top of the bow. Yeah, let's just get all kinds of fancy here. Okay, that's pretty cute too. All right, I like that. <laughs> so we've layered it up. We've layered it up. It looks really cute. Now I've got this cute little functional scissor cozy. Isn't that adorable? for my um, smaller scissors. This is the circle one, okay? This is the one that looks like a circle. All right, so we did that one. Let's do the, let's do the strawberries next. So the strawberries, I'm thinking like black and white would be cute with this. Some black and white twine. I don't know about the yellow. I'm thinking we just go pure black and white would be really cute on this. That's cute. Let's see, maybe a bigger button. That's cute too. Okay, let's do white. Yeah, you could use this for flatware. Oh my gosh, it'd be so cute for even think about summertime, even if it was like your plasticware just a way to make it look a little more fancy. Um, think about uh, Thanksgiving, fall. It could be cute on a plate, right? Or on the charger with silverware. So many things, right? Oh, I forgot to add leaves. I forgot, I was gonna add some leaves. I totally forgot about that. So strawberry blossoms actually have a yellow center. So we could do yellow, or we could just stick with black and white. What do y'all think? Just black and white? I'm kind of leaning towards just black and white on this one. Okay, this is a little bit thicker. And as I mentioned, if you want anything to sparkle, you can use your stickles, your clear stickles on fabric. Works great. Hmm. 
Okay, on this one, I'm going to do all the tails in a knot. Who's going to try this? Yes, gardening. Yes, gardening pruners. Um, oh my gosh, it could just I'm just trying to think of all the things. Anything that you could put in a in a pocket or Yeah, I think it's super cute. And it's just, it's so easy. This is a craft that you could even do with your kids this summer. If you have crafty kids, we got to keep those junior crafters um, inspired. Bring them up, loving to create handmade. Okay, I got that part on. Let's put a little bit of hot glue in here. Our little button. I'll get rid of these glue hairs in a minute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Look, that's so cute, right? Do y'all think that's cute? <laughs> I think it's so cute. Let me show you with the stickles just real quick. So let's say I wanted these, these strawberries to sparkle. Literally, you can just kind of squeeze some on um, just a little bit. You can tap it on with your finger. You see how they'll sparkle? Isn't that cute? It'll just take a minute to dry. You can put it on with a paintbrush if you want to. So you could really fuss these up just as much as you want. And again, there's our scissors, right? That's what I'm thinking, Sylvia. I think they'd be so cute for Christmas. If you got a Christmas themed one and it had, um, yeah, cocoa packets and maybe a little packet of marshmallows and um, cinnamon sticks or um, candy canes, be really cute. And of course, you can embellish these however you want. All right, let's do this one. Now this one, I'm kind of thinking about actually doing a little bit of both here. And I want to show you that the embellishment doesn't always have to happen right here. It can, it could be in the middle. It could be over here on the edge. It could even be up here. The only problem with doing it up here is you don't want to impede your um, whatever's going in it coming in and out. Okay, but it is cute. I mean, it is cute if you wanted to put something up there. So let's do this one up here just so that you can see. And I'm inclined to do the yellow first. You guys are so creative. Y'all can just embellish these any way that you want. I'm going to go back to the blue twine. And then the one thing we didn't add were leaves. So let's, let's do some leaves here in just a second. I got these pot holders at Hobby Lobby and they were all on sale because they were in the spring shop. So they were like 66% off. But go to your dollar store. I mean, you're going to be able to find these um, really inexpensive lots of places. And at the second they start putting out Christmas pot holders, um, grab some because I really think Christmas, these would be so cute for Christmas stuff or fall, really anything. <laughs> Anything. Okay, let's think about, I think I'm going to use this button. That's cute. You'll certain, will certainly do this, Jan. Good. Yeah, just an easy craft. Not all crafts have to be super lengthy, hard, just something fun and easy. To me, this is a great little something. Right, just a great little something, whether it's for you or for someone else. 
And you could just sit down and just crank out a whole bunch of them. Very cute. Look how cute that is. So you could um, embellish them up at the top if you want to. And again, this isn't going to keep me from putting in my scissors. Okay? Isn't that fun? <laughs> oh, eyeglasses. Yes. Especially for people that wear readers. Yes. That is a good suggestion. All right. Let's add a few little leaves because sometimes that little pop of green um, can make a big difference. And again, depending on who you're giving these to, you can, it's up to you how, you know, how fancy you want to make them. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, it could just be the pot holder. You don't have to do all the embellishing. That's just, just totally up to you. Yeah. Wood buttons would be cute. I do. I love wood buttons, Karen. Okay. So I'm just going to cut out some, um, just some leaf shapes. If you want to, um, trace these or if you have a die, you can use that. I kind of like it when they're not all exactly the same. Let's make some that are maybe a little smaller. And again, this is optional. This is just for, for fun. <laughs> just for fun. No stitching required. Just for fun. Okay, yeah, see how cute that is? We need that. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of glue um, on the, the back and the front of this leaf. And then I'm going to tuck it where I want it to be. A little on the front, a little on the back, just that little corner, the part that's going to go underneath. That's pretty adorable. And that, that way these can still kind of lift up, right? Just trying to fuss with my bow. That's cute. I like the leaves. Front and back. If you're doing this with kids, you'll probably have to help with the hot glue part. And if you feel like your leaf is too big, we just, just cut it down. Just trim it down. It's cute. It's pretty cute. <laughs> Just that little pop of green and it makes it adds a little more dimension, right? Adds a little more dimension to it. Um, if you wanted to have a pop of green on this one, let me cut one more. And you can have skinny leaves, fat leaves whatever you want I may even just put one on this one just so cute right <laughs> Okay, well, I'm super excited to tell you that you have all now graduated from the course of uh, Miss Tracy's Scissor Cozy course. <laughs> but as we learned, they're not just for scissors, right? They're absolutely not just for scissors. They could be for all kinds of things, all kinds of things, right? So we'll just kind of pop these in here so that you can see. And again, they can be... Um, the little round ones are great. The smaller ones are great for smaller scissors. Um, gift pockets. I mean, just gosh, just so many different kinds of things. And it's up to you guys how you want to embellish them out. Um, and I can't wait to see. I want to see what you do with these. Yeah, pens, pencils, paintbrushes. I mean, it could be really anything. And a great little gift pocket. Um, they're, they make seasonal pot holders. And you guys don't spend a lot of money on these pot holders. Look on clearance. Look at the dollar store. Um, you know, places like that. Because 
and it's just it's just a super easy functional remember fun functional craft 